Braffner-Schmidt was the first uh, BRAF mech combination to be approved by the FDA, uh, and the first, not surprisingly, to be tested uh, in phase one studies. We have, I would say, that the the treatment um, network of providers that have been caring for melanoma patients uh, have the most experience with dibrafenib and trametinib. Uh, its effectiveness is is undoubtable. Uh, Seventy percent or so of patients who receive the combination will have major responses. Um, interestingly, there's data that was recently put out. Uh, characterizing the five-year outcomes from patients who enrolled onto two of those phase three studies, um, the COMBI-V and the COMBI-D study. So this was dibrafenib-trimetinib versus dibrafenib or dibrafenib-trimetinib versus bemirafenib and pooling the data from the dibrafenib-trimetinib arms of those two randomized trials. So it's 500, 600 patients, something like that. The five-year survival is in the 30% range, and the five-year progression-free survival is in the 18 to 20% range. Now, that doesn't sound amazing on some level. You say, well, you know, we, we want more than 30% of patients alive at five years. Um, and a logical question would be, what about PD-1 inhibitors and, and, and or combination therapy? And, and those, those therapies, certainly, their calling card is durable benefit. But I think What's interesting about that data set is we might not have predicted that 20% of patients would be progression-free with frontline BRAF targeted therapy. I'm not sure what we would have thought that number would be, but 20 is, you know, about 20 is, is higher than it would have been. And I think it really offers um, some, some, you know, really important um, data point to say combination BRAF mech inhibitor therapy can be the best therapy for a patient with melanoma. It's really just a matter of trying to figure out which patients are right for that therapy who may or may not have been right for, say, PD-1-based therapy or, or other immunotherapy approaches.